It's a chilly one. It's 30 degrees. It's pretty, that's cold for us Texas boys. <laughs> bad thing about my gates here is well I could take them off but I just never really think to do that and it's kind of a pain so they got to get a different loader that guy one more thing to get we're gonna get about a quarter bucket of some uh, half inch aggregate here and that is a full trailer uh, it's so cold I got a headache why <laughs> being a crybaby man listen we're not, it's Texas, okay? Jeez, just give me a break. That's how you do it, son. All right, we're back in the truck. Welcome, welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're gonna start some. Uh, we're gonna start some border work. I'm excited. So, I'll see you when we get to the job site. All right, we're here. So, let me show you what we got going on. So we have already came in here and started removing our Austin White masonry stone border everywhere. Got a little bit of our, uh, you know, aggregate base material in here mixed in with our native soil. So we'll get that compacted. But the goal for today is to unload the trailer, right? Unload the trailer. We're going to load up all of this as much as we can. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get all this weight on there, but uh, I'll at least get these piles for sure. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and just dump some of those mini boulders here, dump some here. And then dump some here as well. So we have a little bit of room to work. We got a little bit of fill soil here. So we're going to raise all this up. We're not doing any real vegetation here. It's going to be just like our side is. Oh, that reminds me. I got to show you the side. You haven't even seen the side yet. So we're about 98% uh, wrapped up on that. So a little bit of fine tuning here and there. But I'm going to show you where we're at with it. And you'll pretty much get the idea. So all right. Here we go. Here we are. Look at this. Come a long way since you guys have seen it. Still got this piece of uh, freaking T post just chilling in the ground. Still got a little bit of work to do over here. A uh, little bit of work to do over there. Probably going to bring in a couple extra boulders. Maybe one right there, one right there. And then we're going to run like a little boulder stone that, to, to divide this material versus the grass. So, yeah, look at this. <laughs> here's a here's a funny uh, meme that I posted over on Instagram. This is how you feel. This is how I feel, you know? He's just a friend, okay? He's just a friend. Okay. Isn't that so nice? So we custom made these. They're nice square, like rectangular looters that were chops on. So we kind of broke those down into little mini rocks to get a nice clean look here and then we also got some river stone some actual river stone that's round still got to fine tune a little bit but we have one two three four different blends oh five five different blends of stone to make this dry creek bed look as natural as i possibly can so you know this you could just throw this stuff down and you know most people are probably just be okay with that but that's just not how i roll and i want this to look as natural as possible you know like in a previous video like how water slowly erodes over a period of time and the best way to do that is using multiple stones um, just understanding your focal points making sure everything is neat and tidy and it all just lines up really well so yeah, I mean, I'm really excited how this turned out. Uh, customers also very excited. So that's really more important than my feelings about it. Um, but anyways, back to the front. Let's get started.
Would you put that in a wheelbarrow? I don't think so. So easy. So we loaded one wheelbarrow, right? And then we took that off and just running the, the dolly. Probably gonna be a little bit easier for me. Um, and honestly, I could have put more on that wheelbarrow load and I could put more on this load too as well. But I would say four loads with the baby ox versus easily 10 to 12 wheelbarrow loads with just a regular wheelbarrow. So I'll take this any day of the week. Okay, uh, well, change of plans. Uh, baby ox is dead. I forgot to charge it last night. I, could, I thought I had like half a battery left, but I was wrong. Uh, but you know what's really cool about this machine is it is electric and so you can charge it. Look, look, what? So it's just 110, right? Sitting in here to charge. And the wheelbarrow attachment actually has its own little power inverter because the plug is a little bit different. So you can charge that. I've charged this thing a couple times since I've used it. I have yet to charge this yet. See, that thing still has half a life left so the indicator for this once we turn it on it's just straight through there see how it's flashing because it's dead that's all right though so we got a pile here pile there pile there so we're gonna go ahead and start uh our border right over here and see uh we can't go a few hours and then see where we're at with our charge there Looks like we're gonna have to use Old Faithful. <laughs> what is this? I mean, I don't really need a wheelbarrow anymore, but I keep that on handy just in case. <laughs> Cause I know me, you know, I'd lose my butt if it wasn't attached to my hip. So <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, that's right. Let's, okay, yeah. Got it. So, if you're looking down right down this line of sight so they look really flat and since the customer didn't want to use like uh, bigger boulders there's a way and a trick that not only we can lock these in place but give them a little bit more height and that's by called facing them so between a rubber mallet got ourselves this is really more for planting a garden tool but i love using it for uh, sandstone because it has a point here and a soft blade here. So if we need to like fine tune a little bit, we can do that really easy because sandstone is so easy to manipulate. And then we have our mini sledge, which we probably won't be using this for anything here. So between these two things, let me show you how we're gonna face these stones. So we're gonna take our pick right here and then we are going to pull this stone forward like so. And then typically I would have a little bit more dirt uh, to work with, but for now, we're just gonna have to make that do. Uh, we're gonna use this angular stone because in the meantime, it'll consolidate really well, and then it will pretty much hold what we need to in place for the time being. So all we do, find out where we want it, our face, like so. Man. Then we just slowly just work our way down. Little spot right here. You know, let me just show you. Ah. See, I don't like that. So we can do one of two ways. We can pick this off or we can pick that off. But I think since this is thinner right here, we'll pick this off. Uh, 
Damn, now that's a little bit better. All right, we fixed that one up just a little bit more. So now we'll face the rock, get a little bit more height out of that. It doesn't need to be so perfect. It just needs to be enough, you know, to make sense. Ah, gross. I really want this one here just cause it, you know, there's a parallel line here and I just haven't really found another piece. So I'm just gonna grab this and we're just gonna do this. Oh yeah. Bada bing, bada boom, son. And there you go. It's that easy. So that's that last one we got here. And I just don't like this. So basically in order to make this work, we're gonna flip this one over and chip it from the back side. Like so. So that way, see that consistent line? Rocks just, they whisper, they talk to you. Just listen to them. See, these are little, and you see they're not really getting much give. So every little stone that I set, right, I make sure I get a good, good pound right where I want it. And then we also come in this way too just to lock everything in place real nice and tightly. You see it? I know it all looks like a hot mess right now, but look at that. <sighs> nice little curve there, huh? Let's go. You know, we like them curvy around here. Curvier the better. <laughs> I was gonna look so good. Um, anyways, that's actually gonna be it for today. Uh, just another quick video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, making it this far if you had make sure to like this video subscribe if you haven't till next time you guys and there will be a next time peace